Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss uh, in C sharp uh, how you can do deep cloning uh, versus a uh, shallow uh, copy. So let's get started. If you need to uh, get a breather on cloning and how you can use uh, shallow uh, cloning, uh, you can watch my video on my website God Associates and just type in uh, clone object demystified. So let's just get started. So here is an example of using uh, shallow uh, cloning. And basically I have a class author and I have a name and I have a list of uh, books that this author can publish. And uh, we, I have provided a simple uh, clone uh, method in this uh, author class, which basically does what is called a shallow copy. And uh, it can use a known method in C sharp uh, that is available for all objects. Uh, uh, one thing to notice, it's a private uh, method, but you can call this member wise clone and we can do a cast as an author and return the cloning. So if you just do this, let's exercise this. Uh, so basically I've created an author. I put in a name as uh, Gore and I've added two books one and two. To test, I've done, uh, we've taken the author and invoked the method clone on it and I get a new author. And uh, for the new author, let's say I want to change the books that are published to have the name uh, reference Yogi and I dump this author and new author. So if you notice, uh, there's a problem with this shallow uh, member wise clone, shallow copy because uh, Yogi was now, you can see, changed in both objects, the author and the new author, both of them. And uh, sometimes uh, you don't really want that. Uh, the shallow member wise clone works for strings and also works fine for value uh, properties, but it kind of fails when you go into reference or more complex objects. So one generic technique you can use to do this is uh, through serialization. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a second. So let me just copy a, a method uh, to save some typing time. And I will go over that method with you so you can understand what it is. So basically this is a, a just a static method that you can call. It returns a type and it's a generic. So it has a method a, a clone and it takes in a type and a type of the object. And the way it works is that, uh, let me just tidy up a little bit so you can see it here a little bit better. So it uses uh, what is called memory stream. So we can write data into memory. So it uh, creates a stream and is using the using clause so that it is discarded once this uh, method is out of scope. So it calls a formatter, uh, creates a formatter, binary formatter, and it serializes the, to the stream, the stream, the incoming object, the OBJ. And then it changes the stream position to the beginning. So that way when we deserialize and get a new object, formatter.deserialize, we get a new object basically. So if uh, uh, to test whether this works, what we want to do is just change the cloning here style. So we are going to call a static method clone and uh, the type of the object would be author and we'll give it uh, this uh, and see if it works. So if you see it is calling that but it's calling about some problems with serialization and the reason this is happening is because our class author is not serializable. So in the uh, .NET we can easily make it uh, serializable by uh, putting in an attribute called serializable and if you do that then it seems to all work so now check the results again. So you would see that the book here is one, but book here in the new dump is Yogi. So that's how you actually can implement deep copy on arbitrary objects using serialization or making them serializable. Hopefully this was useful to you. And I would add this to my website, Gore Associates, C sharp clone, uh, shallow versus deep copy. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.